course, what happens is you get some reflection first and some transmission. Now, light is transmitted, but then it's reflected and then transmitted again. So these, this is wave one, and here's wave two. Wave one simply strikes the oil and is reflected right away. For wave two, it travels in the film, oil film, it's reflected and then transmitted. So wave two travels an extra distance of two t. So here path difference to begin with is two t. Now, however, because of reflection, so Normally, if the path difference is equal to a multiple of the wavelength, I get bright. I get constructive interference. However, here, the first wave undergoes a reflection. And that, so there's a change of phase. There's 180 degrees here, change of phase. But wave two, travels inside, no reflection. Then it undergoes a reflection, but the reflection that it undergoes now is oil, water, and oil has a larger index of refraction than water. Therefore, when it reflects on the surface, there is no change of phase. And therefore, no change in phase, no change in phase. So wave number two does not undergo a change of phase of 180. But wave one does undergo a change of phase of 180. So, and so it's as if it has traveled an extra lambda over two. So now to get constructive interference, I should have two T not equal to lambda, but it has to be lambda over two or three lambda over two and so on. It's M plus half lambda, where M is zero or one or two this is the constructive interference. And so it's, it's those frequencies, lambda, that are 2t over m plus half. Those are the wavelengths that will interfere constructively. And those are the wavelengths that will be bright. So what are they? I'm given the thickness. 2t is... But, of course, here, lambda, we have to keep in mind that lambda is the wavelength in the, in the oil. So, not the wavelength in the air. So, I should call it lambda oil. And lambda oil, of course, is lambda air over N. So, lambda oil, which is the same as, so, lambda air over N and being the index of refraction of oil is 2t over m plus half. So this means that lambda in the air, that is the wavelength of the white light in the air, lambda, is 2 times the index of refraction of oil times the thickness of the oil film the, over m plus half. So n is... 1.45, so this is 2 times 1.45, which is 2.9, times the thickness, which is 290 nanometers, over m plus half. Now, if m is 0, so I get lambda, lambda equals, if m is 0, I get 2.9 times 290 over half. So this is 
times 290 nanometers. This gives us about 1,600 or so nanometers, which is infrared. That wavelength is infrared. When m is 1, this is m equals 0. If m is 1, I get this divided by 3 halves. So I get about 500 something. I get about 500 is 5.8 times 290 over th 3 over 2, over 3. So it's about, if this is 290, if it's 300 over 3, that's 100. So that's about 580, 560, let's say. It's a little bit less, nanometers. That's close, that's greenish color. And then if M is 2, I get here, becomes over 5. And I end up with about 300 something. And that would be ultraviolet. So M is... One and then M is two. So those are the the wavelengths that will be reflected strongly. The one, the only one that you see is this one because that's the only one which is visible, which is greenish. So the 560 nanometers. The others are infrared and ultraviolet. Yes. 